Hey everybody, it's Steve and welcome to the ninth day of savoring and this one is near and dear to my heart. It's about social connection and savoring social connection. What do we mean by social connection? Well, I learned the term from the report by U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murphy who wrote the mortality impact of being socially disconnected is similar to that caused by smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day and even greater than that associated with obesity and physical inactivity. This is really, really startling and shocking to me. So it's about an epidemic of loneliness. The, the study was called Our Epidemic of Loneliness and Isolation. And I would like to offer you three ways to foster social connection and three doable ways. In fact, so doable that you might be tempted to take them lightly or, or dismiss them, but don't. I'll give you documented reasons why you shouldn't, why these three actions can be powerful to foster social connection. First, hug someone. People need physical touch. People need warmth. Now, be very, very aware that there are inappropriate times and places and people to hug. Give an appropriate hug to someone that will be receptive to it. And your children should be safe and your and your spouse and your loved ones. But whoever it might be, you might walk over and ask, may I give you a hug? And they may say, sure. Or they may say, why? And you might say, because I thought you might need one. Or because... I kind of need one, or because I love you, or because I'm watching a video. Whatever the case, hug someone and see if you don't increase their sense of connection, their sense of humanity, and not only their social connection, but yours. Second of all, help someone. Somebody around you needs something, right? Get up and walk over to the fridge and get something to drink and watch somebody ask you to do something for them, and then say yes. Or you might walk into the room and say, hey, can I help you with that? You'll see somebody doing something. Maybe they're wrapping presents. I don't know what it is, but someone somewhere, maybe they need a ride. And they were going to walk and they can do it. And it's okay, but it's maybe dark and cold. Or maybe they were going to call an Uber. And you could offer instead to give them a ride because you, you can do it. Help someone. Help them feel seen and cared about and watch both their social connection and yours increase. Third of all, hear someone. Call someone. Ask them how they are. Stop and listen when somebody talks to you. Go back to someone who it might be the case where you said, you know, I was kind of distracted when you were trying to talk to me a few moments ago. Can I get another shot at that? So, Hug someone, help someone, hear someone. You may say to yourself, that really does sound a little, you know, inadequate to address this epidemic. But listen to how the study concludes. He writes, by taking small steps every day to strengthen our relationships and by supporting community efforts to rebuild social connection, we can rise to meet this moment together. We can build lives and communities that are healthier and happier. And as a bonus, you might ask, where will I get what I need to give what people need? And I point you to our scripture that we've been pondering a little bit. Isaiah 9 verse 6 says, His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He's a wonderful counselor. He listens. He gets you. He's in your corner. He'll guide you. He's a mighty God who can get you the breakthrough, even the miracle that you need. And then, third of all, he's a tender father who will never leave you or forsake you. Some of us had fathers who were kind of absent. Others might have had fathers who were abusive. Some of us had fathers who were affectionate and wonderful, but maybe we no longer have them. I have two friends who lost their fathers this holiday season. And so whatever your father pain may be, 
your heavenly father can help heal it because he is the father who will never be absent, never be abusive, always be affectionate, and he's, he's there for you to call out to. Call out to him, let him hold you, help you, and hear you, and he'll give you what you need to do the same for someone else. I am so grateful that you have been with me in these 12 days of savoring. Do one of these actions. Which are you going to do? I'd love to know. Take care and we will see you in our next conversation.